Oh, hello, my name's Robert Culver, call sign VK5 Romeo Charlie. Um, look, I'm an amateur radio operator and a uh, pretty keen watcher of um, Dave Jones and EEV blog, lots of fun. And uh, someone you know, on the EEV blog forum, I put up the fact that I've just recently bought the new uh, Keysight uh, U1282A, which is uh, Keysight's new high end uh, multimeter. And uh, literally it just arrived today, um, ordered it a few weeks ago. And uh, look, it arrived in a, a nice sort of uh, box. The um, box comes with, you know, if we have a look here, uh, comes with those uh, lovely Hewlett Packard Keysight calibration folders with all the calibration data if you really need it. Um, comes with a set of probes and uh, an infrared uh, connection and uh, an infrared uh, connection device. Um, look very good for connecting uh, data to the computer but uh, on the EEV blog uh, uh, sites there's been a few people who've bricked some of the uh, some of their devices uh, updating firmware so um, I wouldn't be in a real rush to do that. Uh, I wouldn't be the first cab off the rank, but uh, certainly if you did it, you'd certainly want to do it in the warranty period. And uh, whilst the the meter's under a year warranty, the uh, the USB connector's only three months, so <coughs> just want to be a bit uh, careful with that. Um, it, the meter comes with a a set of standard uh, cables. I must admit, I'm uh, I'm not super impressed with these. Um, one of the things I I really look for in a uh, in a cable is sort of you know pliability, and they should sort of all hang nicely. And it, it's very hard to get the impression, but these stick up in the air, and, and they're not uh, not quite as nice. If you look at um, you know what you know, well, Agilent provided with the old uh, U1253B um, you know these are just lovely and pliable they they just plonk down where you go and you know beautifully soft um, the other sort of uh, plug I might give here and I've got absolutely no connection to him other than the EV blog is actually some of the silicon cables from uh, Frankie Tong and uh, these are just lovely device, lovely cabling, and uh, it's just beautifully soft and pliable, and it just sits down just lovely wherever you put it. So, look, they're a, a really nice cable. If you want to knock yourself up some stuff, look, uh, Frankie Tong's 99 Cent Hobbies is the place to go. Um, the U1282A is, is a big beast. You know, you can see compared to its its brother it's oh, it's got a good half inch on the top it's probably got another half inch on the width and the weight it would probably have another 30 percent more but um, you gain quite a lot in terms of that uh, water egress uh, sort of water ingress uh, capacity um, you know certainly got very solid feel and uh, when I was putting in the batteries um, You've got to flip it out of the holster to get into the the battery container, but uh, it uh, the screws are um, you know brass threaded. They're not uh, self tappers into plastic, and uh, beautifully made little neoprene seals around it. So look, I'd be whilst I wouldn't go out of my way to get it wet, but look if it did, I'd be uh, pretty confident. Um, look, the the meter set out is very similar to um, Keysight's new sort of layout. Um, you know, very similar. Um, fires up pretty quick. You know, within a, a second or two. So that's a, quite a nice feature. Um, look, this is not a um, an inaccurate uh, meter. So you're certainly getting the um, the full four and a half digits. Um, its accuracy, um, look at, you know, I presume it's just past calibration. Um, and uh, one of the other features which people seem to really like, and, and Keysight haven't done uh, brilliantly in that area before, is actually um, 
you know contact or you know continuity tester and if you if you look at this and listen to it so this is certainly um, key site have really um, really picked their act up in in this um, I've got a you know a 10 volt reference here it's just a little off the 10 volts um, is the actual true measurement and uh, I'll see if I can get the uh, this on screen when everything the all lines up now this is the 10 volt reference and it helps if you put it in 10 volts so that's always good you can't fry the continuity by putting 10 volts low impedance up it and we've got 10.0001 and <coughs> like according to a not in calibration 345A A, that is triple zero five actually according to that and according to a an old uh, I don't know if you can see that excuse my videoing skills not real good 10.001 um, so naught so that's you know reasonably close so um, certainly within specs um, look, just a, a really quick review um, look unfortunately I don't intend to really pull it apart I suspect their construction I wonder if um, Dave might actually have one of these a review coming out shortly because I'm pretty sure in one of his clips he showed the back end of this um, as a bit of a, a teaser in one of his shots but um, look it, it's got the you know standard features you know sort of low pass filter it's got the ability to pump out a bit of um, you know pulse width modulation stuff if you if you if you really want it but uh, you know look certainly this is you know look it's just a, a good you know hand high higher end handheld multimeter and, and certainly it's got a nice solid feel um, it, it is a, certainly a lot bigger than say you know well I suppose what's probably the industry standard at present namely the um, the Fluke 87V and you can see um, there's quite a deal of difference and uh, look for me you know that it is starting to get pretty big and uh, look that might be good out in the field where you want something but look on the desk where you just want something to you know quickly whip in um, I suppose the the start up time I think is is certainly faster than the 87V so look just a, a quick review and um, look it uh, looks interesting and certainly it's got this logging ability and uh, with the LCD display um, look we should get a lot more uh, life out of batteries so if you really want to you know log some long term data look this might be the the meter to go to um, I'm you know I'm still quite a fan of the old um, um, you know OLED displays and uh, despite some of the comments of a few of the people there look I've I've had uh, no real troubles with this at all this uh, is quite an old meter it's uh, uh, gee um, MY50 so this is now five, six years old, and look, it's had a pretty charmed life. I've not done anything too nasty with it, but uh, look, anyway, just a, a quick review. And uh, um, so, look, my biggest critique is these cables, but look for look a few bucks and uh, a week or two's wait, you can probably get a much nicer set out of uh, Frankie. But uh, look, it looks a nice meter, and uh, look, hopefully that battery life will. Uh, be a little bit better but uh, all right look i hope you find this interesting and uh, all the best to all you eev bloggers all right thanks see ya